Hello guys, I'm Econs and I'm Capricorn FF, and welcome to another edition of the F123 Career Mess. Uh, in the last video, if you saw the Mexican Grand Prix race, I already told you that I won my first Drivers World Championship. So that's good. It's, uh, all it is is just the Brazilian and Las Vegas Grand Prix races, respectively. So, yeah, from that time, not surprising. I won both of the races again, and then I did a sprint race for Brazil, so that's going to make the video clip a lot longer, so basically it's in the rain, like as you're seeing right now, and I started in 12, or somewhere in the mid-pack, but hey. So here we are in Interlagos, and knowing that I, that since I won the championship, we can do whatever we want. Experiment with my starting positions and seeing how well the car reacts in traffic. So basically, <coughs> basically it's just you know you don't have to win the race. Just um, let other drivers win and not worry about having to chase after somebody and trying to take the point lead. I already did that halfway through the season and and it wasn't a factor, you know, and yeah. That's why Lewis Hamilton and George Russell were the guys to fight at this season and I mean if you look at it like NASCAR, you only have the final four, right? At Phoenix four divers compete for a championship. But for F1, they still do full season, <coughs> all 23 races. You can clinch the championship early, which I believe it's not the right thing to do, but as far as NASCAR is concerned, but F1 I kind of like, you know. So you can just keep winning races, getting podiums, and collecting points uh, yeah, it's a points race every single week you know and F1 doesn't have to worry about a playoffs so maybe with five to go have a cutoff line points playoff points that's concerned and just see who the final four drivers are so <laughs> I don't know how it'll work in F1 but yeah NASCAR We'll tell off when a few things I've had to do it, but not an open wheel. So <laughs> open wheel don't have playoffs systems like NASCAR. So yeah, I don't get why Brian French would invent a system like that, but yeah, it's just these video doesn't mean my videos are useless. It's just I mean. There's Brazil, Las Vegas, and then Abu Dhabi to show you guys. But I'll just end my commentary here because of knowing that what I said useless. <laughs> I mean, just all worth it when once you already clinched the championship early, you don't have to make any more videos. Even if you get a driver's or even a constructor's championship. So. So that's basically it. I'm a Capricorn FF. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, peace out. enough fuel for three more laps.
Yes, yes, we've done it. You are the world champion. Oh, what a win. What a season. We are going to celebrate hard tonight, my friends. Bring the car home. Nice one. And with that, another year of Formula One draws to a close and a new World Drivers Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. And this also means there's no catching our leader anymore. And we crown a new World Drivers Champion. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow where we'll be live with all the action. And until then, goodbye. That's a Yumu in the pits. A Yumu is in the pits now. Okay, go, go, go. That was a fantastic stop. Faster than we were expecting. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track.
but be aware these tyres need to go the distance. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. Not just victory today then, but the championship as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this results, do you think? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. The faces on our top three look so... In Ali increases their championship lead. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? I have to give it to Ali. Let's move on to the constructors. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time out. Be sure to join us once again as we continue to bring you all the excitement of Formula One. Anthony Davidson. Right, mate, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but I want you to treat it like any other race. Let's not make any unnecessary risks, please.
start was okay. Now stay alert for threats around you. Great manoeuvre, you made it look so easy. Right, we need to get past here, use overtake, use overtake. enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. and the crew there mate we're delighted with that pit strategy complete see these tires through to the end now coming in for a stop. The car in this lap. But remember, we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres.
to get past here, use overtake, use overtake. Nice overtake. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. That's a spectacular victory, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Talk to me, out. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, this was one for an abundance of speed and skillful overtakes. Inside, outside, cutting underneath. We saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race to satisfy the purists today, I think. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Ali increases their championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. 
Who do you pick? I have to give it to Ali. The Constructors' Championship may be a foregone conclusion at the moment, but regardless, let's look at the standings. It's another clear win for Mercedes as they manage to secure the Constructors' title. An incredible performance for the whole team. Meanwhile, Alpha Tauri's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action, and I can't wait to see what's next. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, be sure to comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95, you'll have a great day and peace out.